The American dream of homeownership so often leads to financial freedom, but for too many Americans, discrimination in home sales, mortgage lending, and the appraisal process gets in the way. This video, presented by the Equal Rights Center and the Fairfax County Office of Human Rights and Equity Programs, will discuss how lending and appraisal discrimination facilitates racial bias and may violate the Fair Housing Act. The long-standing idea that a home should be valued based on its neighborhood and that a homogenous, all-white neighborhood would have the highest home value has led comparable homes in neighborhoods with similar amenities to be systematically undervalued on the basis of race and national origin. According to data from the U.S. Census, Fairfax County follows an all-too-familiar trend. As the number of black homeowners in an area increases, the average home value goes down. Homes in communities of color are historically undervalued for many reasons. Discriminatory policing, sex discrimination and harassment, redlining or reverse redlining, discriminatory mortgage pricing, discriminatory denials or underwriting in mortgages and appraisal bias are just some of the reasons for these differences. These unfair lending and appraisal practices occur on structural and individualized bases. You may have experienced discrimination if a real estate agent used racially coded language when speaking about schools or crime to signal the racial makeup of a neighborhood. A bank or mortgage broker steered you to a loan with less favorable terms based on your protected class, or an appraiser appraised your home for a lower value because it is in a predominantly black neighborhood. Both institutional and individualized practices have created this homeownership gap. In 2020, the homeownership rates for white, black, Asian, and Hispanic populations were 72.1%, 43.4%, 61.7%, and 51.1% respectively. Homeownership has long laid the foundation for intergenerational wealth in this country. In 2019, the average black family wealth was $142,500 whereas the average white family wealth was $983,400. When homeowners of color are not able to transfer wealth to the same degree as white homeowners because of these well-documented biases, they will encounter additional financial challenges such as paying for college tuition or qualifying for small business loans. When a black family was refinancing their mortgage, they felt their home appraisal was too low. After removing all signs of their race from family photos and decor, and having their white neighbors stand in for them, their home was reappraised at a much higher value. If you have experienced discrimination or have any questions, please contact the Fairfax County Office of Human Rights and Equity Programs. You can reach us by phone at 703-324-2953. For more information and resources, visit us online at www.fairfaxcounty.gov slash human rights. The work that provided the basis for this video was supported by a grant from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. The substance of the work is dedicated to the public. The producers are solely responsible for the accuracy of the statements and interpretations contained in this video. Such interpretations do not necessarily reflect the views of the federal government.